Hey guys, I know I've been gone for a little bit, but that's with good reason because I really haven't been doing much. Um, I did dabble into something new and I'll talk about that in a little bit, but I really want to come in because I was having a conversation with someone about protective styling and what they thought was appropriate protective styling compared to what I thought was appropriate protective styling. So I wrote some notes so I wouldn't get sidetracked because I just wanted to list some points and kind of open up the discussions with the people who watch my videos and kind of get your thoughts on what are what is protective styling. Um, so for me, it's pretty simple. I think protective styling is whatever you normally do to your hair and trying to do it less. Um, you know, so if you come and brush your hair every day, you try to do it a little bit less. Um, I don't think protective styling has to be limited to just like twisting or braiding your hair, although those are great protective styles. They don't work for everyone. Some people prefer to have a wig or a weave. Some people even prefer to heat style their hair for a little while um, because it may be easier maintenance for them, which causes for them to not have to manipulate their hair so much. You know, I know heat sometimes is such a dirty word in the negative in the natural hair community, but it's a fact of life. People, it, it's not that big of a deal, especially, I mean, if you are taking the necessary precautions, you know what the risk may be. People for years have heat styled their hair and, and not it's not been such this uproar that it is, you know, here in the last couple of years. Um, I don't think it makes anyone less natural because they decide to wear a weave or a wig. I don't think it's really that big of a deal. Um, for me, my protective style of choice is a bun because I can put my hair in a bun once every two to three days and um, it works for me. It doesn't require for me to style my hair as often, hence I'm not manipulating it as much. I think that's protective styling. Um, I've tried to do like the, the twist for as much time as it takes for me to twist my hair it doesn't last like it it just doesn't equal out i may take a couple hours to twist my hair but in a couple of days my twists are unraveling so not everyone's hair texture works out well with twists i don't particularly love for my twists to look fuzzy so after three or four days i'm ready to take them out um so that's why that doesn't work for me so that's why i opt to bun um, I think as long as you still concentrate on making sure your hair is clean, if that's all possible, depending on what method of protective styling you may be using, you're able to moisturize and seal your hair and your ends. I think that those are all good things that you're doing. I mean, if you're putting forth better efforts and trying to maintain your hair, I don't see why we would knock anyone's method with protective styling. Um... Also, I think it's good to not compare your protective styling to someone else's because for me, if I normally, you know, comb my hair every day and now I only comb it once a week, that's less manipulation. That's me trying to protect my hair and have less manipulation in my hair um, on a weekly basis. I think that's an added benefit. Um... So I think those are mainly my key points. I know it's kind of, even with my notes, it's still kind of everywhere because for me, the conversation went like this. Well, it's not really protective styling because you have to put your hair in a bun every couple of days. And I, I truly did not know how to respond to it because you don't sit down and do my hair every day. So you don't know how easy it may be for me to put my hair in a bun compared to someone else. A bun may not be something they can do. I can get up and put my hair in a bun and, and out the shower and in a bun in maybe all of two minutes. My hair is done. It's slicked down. I don't use any brushes, any combs. It's slick like this every freaking time. So for me, a bun is an easy go-to style. I don't have to worry about it. Now with buns, yeah, you might wanna make sure you move your bun around your head so it's not always dead in the center wherever you have it. Kind of do a variation with the bun. Some days I may have my, like my bangs out, I may do a hump or something, but my ends are still tucked away. Protecting my ends. Um, so I think sometimes we tend to go hard on each other for, really no apparent reason. I don't understand why. I guess I, I just, I'm, I'm really not understanding 
where it became so many finger point pointers and everyone became like the guru of natural hair, but everyone's head is so individual and unique to them. Unless you're getting up doing their hair every day and you know what works best for their hair beyond like more than themselves, then I don't understand how you can point the finger and tell me I'm not doing my protective style right. I think as long as my hair is not falling out of my head, I'm doing something okay. Could anyone's routine or regimen always be better? Yes, there's always room for improvement. You do it every day of your life, be it with your hair, your health, your beauty, weight loss, whatever it may be. You're always striving. Well, most of us are usually striving to be better. So I don't understand why we can't appreciate when people are trying to, to do better, even if it's only the smallest effort, you know? It's just tough. I feel like it's just it's just a sad time when I feel as though I have to defend the way I do my hair to someone I have no relationship with. Someone I'm not laying down with you. You don't have to wake up and look at my head every morning. You don't supply the products for me to do my hair. And furthermore, the person who I was with who was helping to supply the products that I did my hair never made mention. So who are you to tell me how I do my hair? So this clearly has turned from protective styling to a wrap video. Sorry about it. Ultimately, my point was to come in with protective styling. Maybe try some different things. Wigs, weave, braids. If that's not what your normal thing is, maybe try something different. When you know what you don't like, then don't do it. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. I know I don't like twists anymore. I ain't going to do them. Sorry. Um, do I want a wig? I do. I don't know if I have the, the courage to go outside the house with one on just yet. Matter of fact, I haven't even bought one. But there was a short one that I've been watching. I want it for the summertime. Um, so who knows? It could happen, but maybe it just never will. Maybe it's just something that, you know, will live in dreamland for me. Because not everything needs to become reality. Um, but that's all I have. I just want, you know, I, I wish it was just not so much of... You know, you have to do this, this, and this. Why can't it be a bit more fun? Why can't, you know, for, for a lot of people, this YouTube and being a product junkie and all those things, it was fun. And sometimes people are making it so regimented that the fun is gone. And that's what's sad to me. So I hope that <clears throat> this video is not for anyone particular on YouTube because the person I'm talking, I was having the conversation with is so removed, not even a part of the, the YouTube natural hair community or anything like that. So it's not directed to any one particular person. However, I just think I want the fun to come back into natural hair and the YouTube community and things of that nature so that's it that's my little rant i don't have many but i guess i was feeling some type of way all right guys i'll talk to you later bye